I, I did become a member because I really wanted some dedicated workspace, but what it's turned into is, um, I, some of mentioned the idea about refuge and stuff like that, and actually, that's that's the first time I kind of heard it, the first time I really thought, like, you know what, I put a lot of pressure on myself with my full-time job, and this is, a, and actually, this is the place I come to, ironically, to do work, I should be here more to do work, but <laughs> no one ever makes me feel like, you, you have to, this is this is your place, you know, just do what you want. Actually, it's, it's become a little bit a place to kind of take that pressure off. And then, consequently, I actually then get more done and more creative. So I joined initially for this one particular reason, <coughs> and it's become much more than that. And I thought, you know what, I've been looking for something like this for donkey's years in Cambridge. Most things like this are stuck out in the middle of nowhere. Mm. You know, you have to get a bus or a train or a donkey to them. Here in Fitzroy Street, it's fantastic <laughs> to be able to to be able to come in here. I'm in here mm, two or three days a week. Sometimes just for an hour. Sometimes you can't get rid of me, can you? Um, that would be true. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, there's something about uh, new faces, familiar faces, getting to know each other, uh, different creative processes. I come to Bishop's. Um, she has an hour on a Friday. And I'm not a, I don't paint or draw, but I'm loving pointing crayons at bits of paper and stuff. It's lovely. And I'm really interested in adding that to my polymathic nature. So there's something about what happens on this side of the glass in these different spaces, conversations overheard, conversations contributed to. I love it, and it feels like it's growing. And what's great is that there are more people here today who I don't know than I do know which is really exciting. So uh, 1850 a month for what you get is a bargain. Um, so do sign up. It's well worth it. And tell your friends, because it's a great organisation. And I think that movement from here to potentially to another building, a larger space, is very ambitious. I'm really pleased to be a part of that on the community, as a community board member. It's exciting. Hi, everyone. Um, I'm Disha. I'm an artist and an art therapist. Um, I discovered Together Future last summer. I actually heard about it through my partner, um, who was already a creative workspace member here. And I, as soon as I entered into the building and met a few people, I realized that, that it's somewhere, something that I wanted to be a part of. So I joined as a community member, and I built friendships so quickly um, and realized that actually, most of the people that are in this space are so aligned in their thinking and their values and I just immediately felt um, at home. Uh, and also I realised that um, I didn't really know the community very well until I started to come to this space. So gradually over time um, I've integrated myself into this community quite quickly and quite easily because it's such a welcoming space. And I do multiple things here. So I have, I moved from community membership to creative workspace and I practice art up there. So I, I, um, I probably spend about two or three days a week doing that, or initially I did. Um, and then I also <coughs> do a lot of admin work and things like that um, to do with my art therapy practice from here. And um, eventually I started to run meetings and things like that from here as well. And then from a social perspective and um, to kind of serve um, members as well who I really enjoy spending time with, I've started running art gatherings, but a lot of people from outside attend those as well, which is really nice. And um, yeah, I'm also involved in a variety of other projects um, here, which kind of serve the community as well. So it's yeah, super exciting. I got offered a role on the front roster, which mm. was very unexpected, but also probably one of the best things I do here because I get to speak to so many people and I absolutely love it and I've built so many incredible connections and there are so many members here just willing to help you with anything that you're working on, which is absolutely incredible and that's nothing like I've experienced anywhere else. Um, also, that then led me to get to know Helen a little bit better and Ellie and um, that kind of just <laughs> <laughs> developed into an opportunity where I can use some of my um, therapeutic skills and we are currently working on, on a project called Abbey in Action 
um, where we are helping or we are supporting members of the Abbey community to take up some leadership positions um, and we'll be working on a programme across the next six months mm -hmm. um, <coughs> to kind of progress towards uh, progressing those leadership positions. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's all unexpected, but also very welcome because when I arrived here, I didn't know exactly how I would be using the space because I was quite open-minded. Um, but yeah, it's just turned into something pretty solid and very grounded. Rick, do you have any unexpected things that have happened since you? Well, I'd like to just pick up what you, when you finished off. I think I came into the space with a specific idea of yeah. how I wanted to use it. And that's become uh, the unexpected thing outside of you know meeting people and making connections and my, my my wife's a creative and so I've there's been people from here who's got to know her and started working with her and all those sorts of yeah things. I uh, I can do many things but I'm not a good photographer I don't take photographs and I'm an even worse web designer um, oh. and my website is awful and what was lovely is in different set of circumstances but I at one of the community events I saw uh, Bishop's partner, he was doing, he was setting up and taking photographs and I thought his attention to detail and his manner with people was fantastic and I thought, cool, I'd love him to come and document my work. I'm making, a, I just finished making a piece of work at home and I need a photographer to capture it in the way that I want it to be captured because I can't. Um, and I now started talking to Roger about that, that very thing and then I was thinking, I need a uh, I need a web designer, and and Michael, who's been writing here, he took three months out of work to write a book, he almost finished it. He said, oh, have you spoken to, and then I met this lovely delight, and he just happened to be a web designer. And we spent, oh, I don't know, three quarters of an hour, an hour the other day, yeah, talking think, about, yeah. um, and it was great, because I said, look, my website's really old fashioned and out of and she didn't disagree with me, which is like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like, it is, it's not right. <laughs> You know, it doesn't, it doesn't frame me in the right light. So we've just begun to work together. Those things wouldn't have happened had I not been a member and had been part of a community. That would be an unexpected thing. I just wanted to kind of mm. follow what you were saying, is that, you know, we've had friends who say, look, the print space is for rents and practice and this and this. But to come here and, and you know, maybe it's the nature of my practice anyways, but to come here with a certain sort of creative ideas yeah. and then get into the conversation with the architect working in the back or mm. that, it's like, mm. like, you just, <laughs> that, where are you going? It feels like, like yeah. serious. Yeah, it, 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 that has been really absolutely something. It's been absolutely fantastic. Wow. And I think, so a, a lot of, I think it's just really interesting to you. There's, in terms of it being about the future and a lot of people who are working freelance and the, there's a certain freedom in being a freelancer, but there's also a loneliness <laughs> yeah. in being a freelancer. Yeah. And, and you're, financial worries. And there's well. financial yeah. worries, and you don't work in an organization that has a department for that, and a department for mm. that, and a department for that. And even a department for just the social connection and the activities that are, for better or worse, you know, part of <coughs> working life and on the better side of it, you know, really interesting, you know, to have opportunities to develop skills, or to listen to a speaker at lunchtime mm -hmm. or at conferences. And a lot of that is prohibitively expensive for mm. most yeah. freelancers right. to go to. Uh, there are plenty of conferences I would like to go to that start at 500 pounds a person. <laughs> so I'm not really sure what these people are doing <laughs> to be able to afford that. But I mean, them. yeah, yeah. So I think Together Culture is really trying to address that for people in whatever their working lives are as well. And, and I think we also have a lot of members, to my knowledge, who are maybe thinking about taking the plunge. So maybe they're living a bit of a hybrid life as far as their professional circumstances are concerned. Or um, there are a lot of people who are fresh to freelancing, people who are younger, who are maybe in that in-between zone where they've recently graduated and this is a good touchdown space to be able to have all of those connections and feel some support as well. Yeah.